welcome back to Rev Solutions. In today's video, you're going to join me on the motorway in the BMW Z4. I'm just going to run you through a topic that really infuriates me, as you'll see in this video, and it's basically people who do not adhere to staying in the near side lane, lane one of the motorway once they've overtaken. You see so many people just traveling around in different lanes, lane four, when there's nothing at all in the near side lanes. So, sit back, grab a cup of tea, or coffee, I prefer coffee, and let's get into this drive. Guys, I just want to bring your attention quickly to the uh, show plates I've had made up for the BMW Z4. These have been made from showplateworld.com. I've teamed up with them to produce these plates. Now, I'm going to be running these on the Z4, as you can see at the front I've placed one with some sticky pads. Uh, at places such as Goodwood, Thruxton, or anywhere else that I go for, uh, for content creation. Um, great website showplatesworld.com and they will produce some legal plates conforming to all the BSAU markings and also the markings where the plate was produced also if you've got some ideas for some show plates put your registration details in them and they will make up smaller plates for show purpose only head over to their website I'll put a link in the description below and get a good idea of what your car or your motorcycle will look like with either their 4d 3d gel plates um, yeah brilliant website head over to them big thank you to showplatesworld.com for supporting my YouTube channel. Anyway, back to the video. So what we're going to do is get onto the M27, get on at the uh, Whiteley Junction. I'm only going to go up uh, one junction and in that time I'm going to see how many people are actually going to be sitting not in lane one. Now, it is really, really simple. Rule 264 of the Highway Code states, keep left in the left-hand lane unless overtaken. It really isn't that difficult. I mean, keep in the left-hand lane unless overtaken. What more could you explain to people? Now, with the 360 camera, I should be able to get good footage of people not sitting in the uh, left hand lane and if you do have to go into the uh, lane two three or even four be it on a smart motorway or a large dual carriageway a large motorway section the highway code then goes to state that if you really don't understand the first part you should if overtaking return to the left hand lane as soon as possible when safe to do so so I'm obviously going to be traveling between 60 and 70 and I can already see behind me there's a van in lane three not traveling particularly fast because let's face it I'm now now I'm doing 70 miles an hour and I'm pulling away from that vehicle there's nothing in lane two why is he out there this vehicle up ahead white van in lane three sitting there again He's got a nice clear run up ahead, no reason at all to be sitting in lane three. He could quite comfortably tuck back in behind that vehicle. Now, I've just overtaken that truck. I've got a um, Mitsubishi Warrior just up ahead of me. I'm too close to it. He's not doing 70, I'm doing 70. So I'm therefore gonna be passing him, not going back into lane one. However, I am now gaining on this van in lane three. Still, he is, he is absolutely not overtaking anything in lane two. I'm going to move back into lane two. There we go. Clear visualization there. Nothing in lane two. Now, like I said, I'm only going to be going up a couple of junctions. But even still, behind me, you can still see that white van sitting in lane three. This chap has just moved over. I can guarantee he won't come over into lane one. I've now overtaken HGV. I'm going to pull over into lane one. I've got no reason to be out in lane two, three, or four. This white van still is not overtaking. He's not gaining on that vehicle in front. The vehicle behind, the HGV, uh, sorry, the, the white van, he is still in lane three. Maybe it's a white van thing. It isn't, believe me, because there are plenty others that sit in lanes. Um, two, three, and four when I don't need to. But as you can see, behind me in lane two and in lane one, there is absolutely nothing causing that driver to sit in lane three. Now, I'm doing 65 miles an hour. 
in lane one very comfortably now we've got a, a golf i think it is in lane four that's silver one let's see okay so he's moved over that's good does he move into lane two again there's nothing needing to keep him out of lane three he could have moved over into lane one uh, sorry lane two and then pushed back out into lane three absolutely no reason at all i'm going to move over checking my blind spots as you do obviously stints from being a motorcyclist but there we go i mean look now he's in lane two which is now lane one sorry because lane one is now going to portsmouth and brighton and he's just sitting there oblivious to rule 264 of the highway code now i am going to be coming off here I just wanted to get a nice drive by of that driver. Am I going to make it off? Yeah, loads of room to make it off. Pull back over and come off. So as you can see, in that whole section of the motorway, that was just one junction. We had two vehicles clearly just sitting in lanes two, well, lanes three, and there are two white vans. I'm not saying it's white van drivers, so please don't get the hump if you uh, think I'm saying that, but in that example, it was two white vans. Now, I've specifically put the roof down on this day to, uh, to get good footage of the vehicles that just sit in lanes two, three, and four. Um, to be honest, for early January, it isn't actually that cold. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up one junction, now this junction that I'm going to go up to isn't that far. So I'm going to see how many people stay in the outside lanes when again there is no need to. Just one junction. But right, the motorway is relatively empty to be honest. There's not a lot of traffic out there. It's going to go in the outside lane, uh, lane one. Now, what offences are you committing by sitting in lanes two, three, and four if there is nothing that you are overtaking? Now, the first one is your most basic, okay? Now, that is driving without due care and attention. Now, that can be in the form of a driver retraining course, driver awareness course that you will have to attend. That's if you haven't already had uh, that offence on your driving record. That normally doesn't bring points However, it could well do. It depends on how much evidence the police officer would have against you for that offence of driving without due care. Now this does look quite busy coming up ahead of me. This lane does not actually filter out into lane two. So I can just sit here quite comfortably. Now I've got a perfect example here. Right, well I'm doing 60 miles an hour. 60 miles an hour, that van with a trailer in the UK has to be doing no more than 60 miles an hour. Oh, he's clearly breaking the speed there. I think it's Southern Gas Networks. You've got a vehicle overtaking lane three, absolutely fine. He should now be moving over into lane two once he's passed. I've got a Mercedes behind me in lane three. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, causing him or her to stay in lane three. It's just poor driving standards. And again, behind that one, there's another vehicle. I can't see what it is quite yet, but no reason. And then there's a van in lane four out there. It's just so poor, the driving standards. And again, in, in my rear view, I can see a silver car in lane two. Absolutely no reason. Now, I'm gonna be going back up another junction. So let's take on this nice sweeping bend. Now, the other offense that you can commit by sitting in the lane that is not the near side lane, as the highway code states in 264, is driving without reasonable consideration for other road users. When it comes to driving without reasonable consideration to other road users, this offense actually comes with a three point penalty on your driving license. If the police deem you to be taking the biscuit quite quite badly, you're sitting 
in lanes two, three, four, where there's nothing at all on your near side lanes. You could be prosecuted for driving without reasonable consideration for other road users. Now, as I said, that carries a three point fine minimum on your driving license. So that will impact things like your renewal premiums, which are going to cost you a lot of money in this day and age and cause you potential financial hardship. Now again, look, this Mercedes in lane two, nothing in lane one whatsoever. Just sitting there. It really grates me. People who do not, and look out there, an Audi in lane four. Lane four, nothing in lane three. Nothing in lane three ahead of it that it's going to be wanting to overtake. It's just cruising out there. Even this Mini's going faster. And it's just sitting out there in lane four, driving without due care and attention, or even drive out reasonable consideration. Personally, I'd probably put that driver on for drive out reasonable consideration to other road users. There's nothing at all in lane three causing that driver to sit out in lane four. It really does annoy me. Driving etiquette in the UK has just fallen. People just do not seem to care anymore. They just don't seem to care, which is, it's awful. So let's have a little recap on that. Driving without due care and attention. Driving without reasonable consideration for other road users. Points on your license, a financial impact, or, well, let's face it, a driver retraining, driver awareness course. Why would you do it? It really isn't that difficult. Move over once you've overtaken what it is you're overtaken. Now obviously you cannot over undertake to the near side of vehicles whilst driving on a motorway or a dual carriageway, which is understandable. You have to overtake, the clue is in the wording. However, the Highway Code, I'll go into more detail about this in a later video, but the Highway Code does make ex an exception for that, whereas in heavy traffic, if the rate of traffic in your lane, be it lanes one, two or three, if there is a four lane carriageway, is moving quicker than the lanes to your offside, you can obviously stay in your lanes to keep up with the flow of traffic. But what it doesn't state is that you can undertake vehicles that are hogging outside lanes, offside lanes. If they are, and they're within the speed limit, obviously you move out, you overtake, and then once you've overtaken that vehicle, you move back in. You don't then stay in those outside, offside lanes and continue down your journey. So I thought I'd just educate those drivers and riders who do not understand the highway code. Again, look it up, rule 264 of the highway code. Really isn't difficult. We've all got driving licenses. We all need to drive to the highway code in the United Kingdom. Now I'd really be interested to find out what the highway code, or if there's an equivalent in your country, states about driving on dual carriageways. So, from Revolutions, thank you for watching this video. Hit a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon in the next Z4 video. Thank you.